Hey, I'm Joe, and today I'm here with some special guests here. What? Who, who are you? Oh, oh, man. Who, oh who man. are my special Joe, guests? you got to lead me in. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little lost. It's day three. Now, Joe, right. Joe hooked me up, and here I am just blowing the whole interview. Uh, I'm Banks. That's Max. I don't know. I don't know where to put it. There's too much <laughs> energy going on right now. What do we got here? Is this oh, game called Sleep Tight? Yes, this game. So Sleep Tight, we may or Max actually developed with his buddy Jed. Tell him about it, Max. Yeah, so uh, we are Fuzzy, that's the name of our company, and uh, our first game is Sleep Tight, and this has been developed with uh, me and my buddy Jed, uh, we're childhood friends, and we always wanted to make games growing up, and uh, this is really our childhood dream coming to fruition. Uh, the game is all about you play as a kid defending your bedroom from monsters that come out to get you every night, and uh, every day you're upgrading your super soakers and dark guns and building your pillow forts to protect yourself for the next wave. And if they're not smart with their planning, they could actually have a bad base that is to their disadvantage at night. They could get caught in it, right? Like, they have to be really careful about how they're planning this whole thing out. Yeah, definitely. There's, there's a good amount of strategy to this game. So what we really wanted was a game that was really accessible. It's easy to learn and pick up, but it's hard to master. Yeah. And we want to encourage people to try a bunch of different things. So you're going to play this game, you're going to make it 10 nights in, and you're going to die, and you're going to learn from that. And the next time you go about it, you're going to alter your strategy and try a different tactic and that's going to allow you to get further and further every time. Mm -hmm. So there's basically the day-night cycles, are they on a set timer so it's going to happen at a certain time, you only have a limited amount of time to build your base so you're kind of crunching through at the end there and then well, or, or sim no. Similar to life you have sons and all of your sons, how you decide to spend your sons are the different things you can build. So you have, a, uh, you have to manage your resources there just like in the normal day. But it's at your own pace, you just have costs to each thing. Okay. And then the nights are timed. And every 10th night is what's called a blood moon. And a blood moon, the whole stage goes red and everything gets way more intense. So is there a set limit to the amount of nights that go by or does it go on just indefinitely? Is there an end? Yeah, it goes on indefinitely. It's all about seeing how many nights you can survive. But one of the key things with our game is, is it never plateaus. It's always going to throw a new challenge at you. And the further and further you get, the more different types of monsters are going to be coming out at you. Uh, the difficulty is just going to get harder and harder until you can't handle it anymore. And we really want people to be competing with their friends in the leaderboards and see who can last the longest. So you talk about leaderboards, so there's a competitive kind of co not co-op, but like competing with high scores and stuff. There's no like local co-op or nothing like that? We're going to be launching with single player, and we want to make like the best single player arcade game possible. And if people love it and they demand co-op, then we'll see what we can do. Hell yeah. Best single player option. That's the best. One, one of the things that I think is, is such a cool feature coming out of Mixer is you can do co-streaming. And so multiple people can stream at the same time. And so like an arcade, what we want to do is get people to co-stream on Mixer where all four players or even two players start at the same time. Yeah. And then it's a challenge or a race, as you, if you will, to get to the, the make it as far as you can and survive as long as you can and kill as many monsters as you can. And it's going to be different every time. And even side by side, starting at the same point, they're going to have a completely different experience that you can watch and compare right? Definitely. They're going to be going after different strategies. You're going to see what happens when someone decides to not build any forts and just focus on upgrading their weapons and their power-ups. Or if someone decides to build like a crossfire strategy of two different forts on either corner of the room and maybe running in between them. You know, I think this is going to allow people to test different options and to really play and explore what this game's all about. So when's it coming out? We're still waiting on our release date, but it will be either late Q1 or early Q2 this year. And where are you planning to release it? It's coming to Steam and Nintendo Switch. Oh, wow, awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you guys so much. This has been a blast. Yeah, Joe, thanks for having us here on your show. I'm pumped about what you guys are doing. Yeah, and with that, let's get back to the show.